Hi everyone! This video is going to cover how to save recipes into your food database and your recipe database manually, so without using the add-on. So first of all, we're going to start off with a full recipe builder on the standard spreadsheet. So once you have your recipe going, you're going to copy the first two lines here, so the names of the ingredients as well as their quantities. And then you're going to go over to your recipe database. And then in the ingredient column, you're going to paste transposed. Then you have your ingredients here and your quantities. Then you're going to name your recipe. So I'm going to name this Sam's recipe number one. And then the name of the pet. So the name of the pet has to match the name of the pet as it is saved in the profile section. And then how many days that's for. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste that um, into the end of the ingredient section here. So every one of these says the same things for the same recipe for the same pet. Then, since it's saved to the recipe database, you should be able to go to the recipe report and pull it up. So let's see, sounds recipe number one. It's thinking, and it's a little slow here. Yep, and then there's the ingredients. Um, you should now also be able to manually upload this into your full recipe builder using your add-on or manually. So let's say I wanted to edit this recipe. So if you have a blank recipe builder, then you can go to your recipe database copy this section, go to your recipe builder, and again do the same thing, paste transposed. So then you can re-upload the recipe so that you can edit it if you want, and then resave it, um, the edited version. If you want to use this recipe as an ingredient in your other edited recipe builder, then you have to go to your save a recipe feature down here. So I've already named this same as recipe number one, so you're going to copy the entire purple column, and you're gonna to go to your food database and then you're gonna to go to a new column in that food database. So either in the middle here or you can go to the end. And then you're gonna paste values only. So that's in the database now. So you should be able to go back to your recipe builder and look it up and be able to use that as an ingredient now. So if I wanted to add 100 grams of this recipe in, we'll go up here and you can see that We'll uncheck all of these. And once that's done loading, <laughs> it should pop up. There we go. So now it's popping up as its own food item. All right, the condensed recipe builder pretty much works the same way. So you copy these, go to the recipe database, and then for this one, you can just paste it since it's the same format. And then you do the same thing. You name it, I'm gonna name this one number two and it's for one day. And then you should be able to go to the recipe report and pull it up. It won't change because the ingredients are exactly the same. Um, or you should be able to load that back into the recipe builder. And you can do that in the full and the condensed because you can copy it and then paste it transposed or just paste it. So if we, oh, my bad. So if we copy this and then we go to the condensed recipe builder and clear this, you should just be able to paste and then it'll fill in it again. To save this one as a food database, um, you actually have to load it back into the full recipe builder. You cannot save a food as an ingredient from the condensed recipe builder, unfortunately. Now, if you're working on the pack formulation spreadsheet and you're wanting to save your toppers for each pet, it's a little bit more complicated, but you can do it. And again, this is how to do it manually without using the add-on. So first of all, you are going to copy your list of ingredients, including the base, and then you're going to go to your recipe database, and then paste that into the ingredients section. Whoop, you're supposed to paste that values only. There you go. And then go back, and for the first pet, this Sam, we're going to copy the quantities here. Then you're going to go to your recipe database, paste the quantities, and then label that for the pet. So let's say first recipe, Sam's toppers. And then that's for Sam. And toppers are always for just one day. So then we're gonna go ahead and copy and paste that. Then we're gonna do both. So I'm gonna copy and paste the, the same ingredients list here. Go back to the toppers recipe builder, copy both section, go back, paste that. And then I'm going to label this first recipe, Bose toppers, 
that's for bow and again it's just for one day so toppers are always for one day and then we're going to paste that down here and that's how to save toppers to import that back in let's go ahead and clear this so first of all, when you're importing toppers, you have to make sure that you're looking at the same base recipe. If um, you are using a different base recipe, obviously the nutrients are going to be different. So make sure you're looking at the name of the base recipe and that you're loading up the same base recipe in your base recipe builder. So then I'm going to copy the rest of these toppers here. Go back. Paste that. I'm going to paste those values only, actually. Let me undo here paste that values only and then you go back to your recipe database and then you copy these quantities go back same thing paste values only onto Sam's column then I'm gonna go back to the recipe database copy Bose quantities then go back and paste that in Bose column so that's how to manually save um, toppers recipes into the recipe database and how to reload them if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. My name is Jenny Rue. You can reach me via email at jenny at sitstaybeyond.com or on the RFM Facebook group.